Hey everybody, and welcome back. In this video, I'm just going to be sharing a brief guide on how on ground sentinels, along with a few tips and my own strategy. If you're just sick and tired of these robots attacking you anytime you try to mine, or you're looking to get a rare walker brain, then this is the video for you. To begin your revenge on these pests, first, locate a drone. These are the most common form of sentinel, and the weakest. Give that little sucker a good death, and you should see two stars appear at the top right of your screen. Once you've killed one, the two star wanted level will then spawn two of the same drones. The easiest way to kill a sentinel drone is by shooting them in the center of the red eye that they have, as this will do critical damage and most likely one-shot them, if you are using a blaze javelin. After you clear the second wave of sentinels, you should receive another star. This is when the sentinel quad will show up, along with another two of the sentinel drones. Personally, I prefer to take out the drones as quickly as possible, to make dealing with the quad easier. The quad has a relatively easy to dodge laser attack at range, however, if you get close, they have a short range lunge attack that is quite painful. I suggest avoiding using any shorter range weapons such as the scatter blaster. Luckily, the quad seems to have a pretty dumb AI if you have any kind of obstacles around for it to get stuck on. Clearing another wave of sentinels will, once again, add another star to your wanted level. At 4 stars, the sentinel walker shows up alongside two more drones. There is no quad in this wave. Once again, I prefer to get rid of the drones before addressing the bigger threat. The walker is a unique enemy in that you can't just mindlessly shoot one area of the body and eventually take it down. It has armor in 5 locations that need to be destroyed before you can finally take it out. The armor is located once on its head, twice on each leg, with the leg armor being divided into separate upper and lower segments. Note that it is very useful to have a personal force field attachment for your multi-tool, as it can be difficult to dodge the walker's laser. Once you've destroyed the walker's armor, it will begin its second phase, launching several blue mortars into the sky to crash down in random locations around it. Luckily, these are relatively easy to dodge and do not spread very far. Meaning, you can just kind of short run a short distance away and still avoid them. However, if you do get hit, they will most likely kill you if not take out most of your health. Once it's in the second phase, it becomes relatively easy to dodge the bullets it fires in place of the laser. And you can just kind of take top shots at the head with your weapon of choice. I started with a blaze javelin, but later I swapped to the scatter blaster, as they do identical damage per full power shot. Note that even though the Scatter Blaster fires more rapidly, you do have to be closer in range and there is a reload time where you won't be able to fire anything. Once you kill the walker, make sure to loot the brain from the cache it drops. If you can't hit the cache due to the walker's head, it's very easy to push the head out of the way even though it's kinda big. Clearing the first wave of the 4 star wanted level will keep you at 4 stars, usually, and send the same wave once again. Clearing this wave a second time will finally give you another star. At 5 stars, there are 2 drones, 2 quads, and 1 walker. I recommend taking out the sentinels, then the quads, and finally the walker. When you're finally done massacring sentinels, do not under any circumstances get in your ship and fly into space. This will lead to space sentinels, which can be much deadlier to most players, including myself. An easy way to drop your stars is to go into a building and wait them out, or, if your timer is stuck at a permanent zero like mine is, go through a portal to another location. This will drop your stars and you will be safe to return to your base. If you do end up being chased by sentinels in space for whatever reason, flying in a straight line at top speed assures they won't fire at you because they're out of range, even if that doesn't really make sense. To drop stars in space, fly into a space station or onto a freighter and your stars should drop almost instantly. Thank you guys for watching this video, I hope you liked it. I know this isn't what I usually do, I just thought it'd be cool to make a video like this because I couldn't find too many videos explaining Sentinels for No Man's Sky. I am planning to play more No Man's Sky later on, but I have been kind of addicted to World of Warcraft and I will be gone this coming weekend. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, goodbye.